Hi everybody and welcome to this tournament reveal video here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. I'm hitting you straight away with the name and the course. Look at that. It is the Ancient Tombs Nine Hole Cup. It is going to be played on the dreaded dunes, which you can see in the video playing behind me. But there are more details to give you. Before I do that, please give me a thumb up here on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. There will be the usual hole overviews up on the screen as a reminder and a refresh of all nine holes of the dreaded dunes course. But I'm bringing you the news right now. It is going to be a strong winds modifier here. But don't worry if you didn't quite enjoy the Typhoon tournament on the very tough Porthello Cove. Rest assured, this one with stronger wind speeds is going to be way more enjoyable, particularly on some of these par fives up in Expert and Master. And maybe even in Pro and Rookie, you're going to get closer to the green on those par fours as well. Some brilliant opportunities for drops. Practice begins Monday the 31st of October. Qualifying starts on the 3rd of November. That is Thursday. There will be expert qualifying and final round playthrough guides out with tournament wins on Thursday and Saturday, as well as general playthroughs for other divisions as well out earlier on. So here come the whole overviews, followed by the wind strengths that you will see per division according to the wind resistance balls that you will want to use. Here are the first three holes then. Any form of strong tailwind, hole number one is drivable, but there are hazards to work around there. A few bunkers dotted around the place and a fair amount of rough near the green as well. Hole number two, you've got two fairway pads to bounce over on or you can go for the rough bump. But again, strong winds, you're going to need a very good adjustment there. But a good chance nonetheless. Hole number three is the traditional Jamil Dunes funnel hole with that bit of rough just before the green. But like I said, we get tailwind here in Expert and Master and that is going to give us the opportunity to drive the green in one. Get your wind zero balls, your power five balls at the ready. Plenty of topspin. I reckon you're going to see loads of albatrosses there. Regardless of the wind direction, it's either going to be blast to the green or get into that funnel out of the rough. Next three holes, good opportunity on hole four. If you want to risk the rough bump, make sure you adjust well. Don't hit a great left, though. You could end up in the bunker before the green on the left-hand side. Hole five, get your top spin at the ready. See if you can drive the green in one, or if not, get to wedge or thorn or short iron range, of course. Down the right-hand side, a bit of a narrow fairway, but a very, very good eagle chance. And hole six could be transformed in tailwind, especially up in master. Is that going to be one of those where we can end up with a short iron or a wedge or even a putt for an albatross. Notoriously tricky hole, but let's see what wind direction we get on hole six. Seventh hole is going to be the trickiest of the par threes, especially with increased winds. Again, there's a few routes to take. There's a risky rough bump or you can play left or right side of the map, depending what the wind direction and what your play style prefers. Then hole eight, again, in tailwind, we're going to get down to the green for a very good eagle opportunity. And finally, hole number nine, some elevation to contend with, particularly on the approach. Left side is a route there, but you can also play right side as well. And once again, with the other par fives, any tailwind up in the higher divisions, I reckon it's time to strap on a power five, win zero and go for that blast shot. Before we look at the wind ranges, though, time to bring you the news of a second modifier that is in play for this tournament, and that is a good one. It's the increased qualification zones, which means the top 70% of players in each qualifying round bracket go through to the final round. So there are extra spaces to be had. Great incentive to step up into a higher division than you would normally play for the Ancient Tombs Nine Hole Cup. And here are the wind ranges. First of all, rookie and pro. These may help you influence where you're going to play. And you can see wind zero, six to nine for rookie, 12 to 15 in pro. And beneath them, the wind ranges you are going to get. These are actual in-game ranges according to the wind resistance ball you are using. So there are rookie and pro. And we're going to take a look at expert and master right now. And here are those big wind range numbers for Expert and Master. 18 to 21 miles per hour in Expert. Even with a wind 5, you are at what would have been the higher end of the Kingmaker range for a non-modified tournament. Up in Master, 25 to 28 miles per hour. So you can see some of these par 5s in Tailwind, 
you're going to get easily to the green with a good first and second bounce. Even with a win five, though, 11.2 to 12.6. So it still makes those par threes nice and challenging for those players up in Master Division. Thank you very much for watching this reveal video for the Ancient Tombs 9 Hole Cup. Let me know in the comments section down below if you are looking forward to this one. And if so, what divisions you will be playing in. Are you going to step up into a new division to experience some of the stronger wind ranges? Some very fun shots to be had, I reckon, on this course. For the Ancient Tombs 9 Hole Cup, let me know what you think and I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Bye for now.